Hi guys, Manav here and I welcome you all to Kridas. In the second episode of Ready for Range, we are going to talk about the best combination of footwear for trekking in the Western Ghats during monsoons. To start off with this video, we need to acknowledge one thing that the terrain of the Western Ghats is rocky. The maximum height that a hill touch here is around 8600 feet. That is some 2600 meters. So definitely it is not the altitude that we need to be concerned about. It is the slippery slopes, the huge waterfalls and the dense forest sections having leeches, snakes and insects in them. That should be our concern. So guys, in order to negotiate the wet slippery stones or rocks in the Western Ghats, you need a footwear with a soft rubber sole. Now, this relatively soft rubber sole will experience pressure due to your body weight when it touches the wet stone. And this weight, when presses the soft rubber sole, it increases friction and thus reduces the chances of slips and falls. Further, let's come on the lugs or the grooves that you have on the sole of your shoe. If they are too big, they are of no use because this reduces the point of contact between the wet stone and your shoe. If the lugs are very small, since the trails in the western ghats are all muddy, mud will go into the grooves and you will get no grip at all. Therefore, a medium sized lug is the best combination to have. For example, the shoe that I'm using right now, it has these medium sized lugs which are very very helpful it gives you a very good grip on wet surfaces guys remember water has reduced that friction and therefore you need something to lock the jaws with the wet stone and give you more grip moving ahead a trekker in the western ghats may also experience a subjective hazard called as ankle twists though they are very 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 rare the twisting of your ankle happens mostly during descents if you're a beginner, if you're not careful of the slope is slippery or it happens when on the trail the rocks or the stones are relatively big. So you could not place your feet properly and then the ankle just twists. And this is there in the Devkund waterfall. The last section of the Devkund waterfall trek in Maharashtra, it is there in the Kumara Parvata trek in uh, Karnataka. So the thing that you should keep in mind when you're choosing your footwear is that invest on a footwear or on a shoe which has a higher neck. A shoe which also covers your ankle once you wear it. So that it avoids any ankle twists. Now again moving ahead, we are talking about treks in the monsoons in the Western Guard. So definitely it is going to rain. But since all the treks in the Western Ghats are short, therefore, according to me, water repellent capability of a shoe is not a major factor to look in when you're purchasing a footwear. Rather, I'll suggest just keep four to five extra pair of, you know, cotton towel socks with you so that you can just repeatedly change them. And even if your shoe become wet on day one, day two, you can do away with a wet shoe because the trail is not going to end for a longer period of time. Now, I also wanted to talk on the topic of sandals as a preferred footwear for trekking in the Western Ghats. To be honest, I have done a couple of treks in sandals. The biggest benefit with sandals is that you need, they need not to be water repellent. You need not to worry about whether they are going to get wet or not. The, the wetter they get, the brighter they shine. However, the sandals also come with a downside and this downside is a very big one because it exposes your feet to snake, leech and insect bites which could be fatal and it also exposes your feet to injuries. So therefore, according to me, sandals are a big, big, big no when it comes as a preferred footwear for trekking in the Western Ghats during monsoons. So guys, let's combine all the factors, the slippery wet stones, probability of ankle twists, leech insects and snake bites. So according to me, the shoe which fits best is a basic sport shoe with a soft rubber sole and medium sized lugs along with a higher neck. Last but not the least, make sure that the new footwear that you have bought just from the market, you break it before you go on a trek to avoid shoe bites and blisters. Just walk around few kilometers in those shoes so that your feet adapts to it. And guys, in my honest opinion, footwears are only an equipment. Having them will not make you a trekker. So make sure that you experience outdoors as much as possible. Keep experimenting with different, different footwear. And trust me, in four to five treks, you will know which footwear is the best for you. In episode three, we are going to talk about the clothes that you should wear while you are trekking in the Western Ghats during monsoons. And finally, guys, if you're liking what you're watching, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon so that you get notified every single time I upload a video and creed us. I'll see you in another one.